Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. Today, we're going to taste nine different seltzer waters, all lime flavored. And we'll rank them right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. Once in a while, we do something really strange like this. Bizarre. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So recently on one of our Keto on the Couch episodes, a new subscriber suggested that we try different seltzer waters and see which one we think is the best. And we do drink a lot of seltzer, especially now that you're trying to get away from Diet Coke yep. and other things with aspartame. So like we do lean on them. Yeah, when we first started Keto, we really switched over to drinking a lot of seltzer water, but we can really go through them and that can get expensive, especially when both of us are drinking it. Yeah, so we're not really brand loyal. We're usually looking for what is on sale. Yeah. But it's kind of nice to, to have an opportunity to just taste it and say, you know, What's the most flavorful? It'll really be interesting for me because, again, because we buy whatever is on sale, it'll be interesting to try them all right next to each other. Yeah. Now, the reason we chose lime was because we really wanted to have the same flavor with everything to really make it fair because there are certain ones where they have a lot of different flavors. For example, like Bubbly has a lot of different flavors, but Publix brand doesn't. Yeah. So we wanted to be able to compare it equally across the board. Yeah, because I mean, Polar's got a great orange cream that we love, but like nobody else has orange cream. So. Right. <laughs> so that, now there are a couple that are absent from here. So we do not have the 365 brand, which is from Whole Foods. They didn't have any limes in stock. Mm -hmm. And that's normally a pretty decent price. It normal price is three ninety nine for yeah. a twelve pack, and also the Win the Win Dixie brand, which I believe is Se Grocers, and we normally get that. They didn't have any limes in stock Super today. Super cheap though. <laughs> but they're usually on sale for four for ten. At least two weeks out of the month, they're on sale four for ten. And so, that's hard to ignore. So that is usually honestly when nothing else is on sale. That's our like fallback seltzer water. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we have a spreadsheet here. We're going to rank these one to one to three, mm -hmm. one being the worst, three being the, rat, what, the, the best. And we're gonna rank it on two things, flavor and bubbles. Yeah. And then, and now flavor, we're ranking it on how much does the flavor come through? Not like, is it a good lime flavor or a bad lime flavor, but strictly like, is there a lot of flavoring? Or just a little bit of flavoring. Did it? Is it like smacking you in the face, or is it like a lime took a bath and we're drinking its bath water? Right, because you know it's kind of. I don't want to judge it on like, do I like that particular? Because everybody may have a little bit little different lime flavor, but it's like how strong is the flavoring? Yeah, is does it really about. come through? And the same thing with the bubbles. It's like, does it have a lot of bubbles, or does it just taste like you know an almost flat like a seltzer or yeah. soda? You know. So that, and then we'll, we'll also, we'll address the price. And then at the end, we're going to rank them. Like what's our favorite? What's our worst? And we'll also kind of briefly mention as we go through how many varieties of flavors do they have? But or we do don't, they have a lot of varieties? But we don't want price to be a factor. Right. You know, it is a factor, but it isn't. Well, we're going to, our first rank will be strictly based on prices and an issue. Yeah. Okay. So where do you want, where do you want to start? Well, we started, we have our list written down. So let's go with bubbly. Bubbly. Okay. So bubbly, we're going to give you prices based on what the actual price is and not what the sale prices are. Yeah. Okay, I did happen to get these. They are on sale a lot at Publix, buy one, get one free, mm -hmm. and sitting at Winn-Dixie. So buy one, get one free is the only time we ever buy them because the 12 pack is $5.29 regular price. Yeah, so we gotta think about that. Yeah. They do have a lot of flavors though. They do have a lot of flavors. Also, their little tab always greets you. So for the lime flavor, it says, oh, hi. <laughs> Now, again, we're going to rank it one to three. Let's try to stay away from a two. Two, yeah, because we don't know. I mean, it all. I guess we have to put it in a two. Medium. I mean, <laughs> I will do a separate ranking on price. Okay. Right? Okay. So if you want to just like, it won't be a factor in the overall, but. It's kind of like, 
is there a good value? Yeah, is there a good value to it? Okay, so what's next? Next is Polar. Polar. And I think Polar is sold most places around the country, right? Oh, yeah. I think so. Okay, so Polar. I'm already burping. Sorry. A lot of carbonation, though. I'm surprised. I felt like immediately, like, Polar would be totally on par with Bubbly, but it's... Okay, so next up, LaCroix. LaCroix. this is the key lime flavor. It's the only lime flavor they had. They do have a lot of bizarro flavors. Yeah, all their flavors are weird, like passion fruit. Like, yeah. They don't have, like, straight orange, or at least not that I can find anyway. Mm -mm. It's like tangerine. Mm. Next up, Dasani. Dasani. Dasani is a Coke product. Oh, by the way, the LaCroix, the Polar is $4.59 a 12-pack normal price. Uh-huh. And the LaCroix was $4.99. Oh, so, so close. The Dasani, $6.99 for eight 12-ounce cans. I remembered how fancy I felt, though, when we have bought it a few times because look at this can. It's super cute. Yeah. Different than you remember it? I think I was distracted by its fancy pants can. Okay, so next up we have Perrier, and I just I bought Perrier. it in the bottle, but really we only buy cans, okay? Yeah, because it's got to go in the little refrigerator. Because we have a little refrigerator, so we did have, but we don't have any left of the small cans, mm -hmm. and so that's what we just bought this because I didn't flavor. want this is watermelon flavor, so we're not going to use this. But the Perrier for these cans, you get ten eight ounce cans okay in a, in, so it's like a lot less than this almost you know half yeah and um that's six dollars and 59 cents wow so price definitely would be a factor for us normally next up Publix brand Publix Publix brand four dollars I understand shopping is a pleasure there that's what I've been told Next up, Waterloo. Waterloo. Definitely the most singable this brand is name. Lime flavor. How is their price? $6.49 at Whole Foods for a 12 pack. Got to get those guys on sale. Hmm. Are you ready? Yes. This is Sifo brand. Is it like sci-fi? I don't know. So I put I bought this in public. This has been not, around since 1949. Never heard of it. This is reverse osmosis purified water. This is old as my mom. Okay, so uh, this is the lemon lime flavor, and oh this was a dollar twenty-five for the bottle. I'm like Burp City. I'm the mayor of Burp City. Welcome to our town. Burp City's not going to get any easier either. That, no. That's got a lot of carbonation. <laughs> and then last but certainly not least, one of our favorite grocery stores brand. Okay, so this is the Aldi's brand. What's it called? Bellevue. Bellevue lemon lime flavor. Okay. And this was 55 cents for the bottle. What? That's like super cheap. Okay, you ready? Okay. Okay, so let's start back at the top. Okay. And um, bubbly, what'd you give it? I gave it a three for flavor. Three for flavor? And a three for bubbles. Okay, so I gave it a three for flavor and I gave it a two for bubbles. It's got some good. It's got some good bubbles. It's got some good flavor. We do buy a lot of bubbly and I feel like we're right to invest in it. Yes. We must okay. like it. Then I did a price, I just did a price on one to five because you have different price ranges. Yeah. And I gave it a three for price. Like it's a couple pennies more mm -hmm. than the other ones, but not too bad. It's like right in the middle with price. And when you consider how good it tastes. Yeah. And how carbonated it is. Yep. And then also they have a lot of different flavors. A lot. Okay. But again, we buy, we only buy based on sale. So if it's not on sale, we're not buying it. We'll go six months without ever having a bubbly. And it's like right now for the last two weeks, it's been on sale. Buy one, get one free at Publix. We've loaded up. And that's what yeah. we do is we load up on it when it goes on sale. Like we'll literally go buy 
10 to 12 12 packs yeah and just have a whole bunch of them we stack them up in the corner and like we're drinking that until another one goes on sale yeah so that's kind of our plan yep okay so next up polar so i thought that polar would be able to just switch out with bubbly like super easy but tasting them right next to each other two for flavor I gave it a two for flavor. Yeah. And now it did get a three for bubbles. Okay. Because it was pretty, like, carbonated. I gave it a two for bubbles. But I thought that, like, the flavor was there. I think what I'm thinking is, is that their orange cream is a really unique flavor. And that is what I like. That one flavor. Right. But, yeah. Surprising. Okay. Next up, Dasani. Nope. Next up is LaCroix. Oh, LaCroix. Okay. Yeah. So LaCroix. Wait, what was the what was the price thing for Polar? Oh, I gave it a four. Okay. Four dollars and fifty nine cents a twelve pack. All right. So it's pretty good. Oh wait, you gave it a four out of three? Four out of five. I said on the price oh. it's gonna go one to five. Oh, okay. Sorry. Otherwise everything's gonna be like in the middle. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Okay, so LaCroix. I gave it a three plus. Three plus plus for flavor. That is good. That is a, like, there's flavor going on in this can. Right. So hopefully it's the flavor you want. If you're not a key lime person, you're not going to like it, but it's got a lot. There's a lot going on. And I gave it a 2.5 for bubbles because there's a lot of bubbles, but not quite as bubbly as bubbly. Okay. I love how you're giving a 0.5. I thought we were ranking one to three. I know, but it was really hard. Okay, so I gave it a three for flavor. Mm -hmm. And I gave it a three for bubbles because it is super bubbly. It, okay. And then I also gave it a three for price. It's mm -hmm. $5. It's kind of like right in the middle. Yeah. And the other one that I forgot that you have on your thing that I figured we can kind of add it in, variety of flavors. Tons. Okay, so just like based on variety of flavors, I'm going to go one to three. I put bubbly as a three. They have a ton of varieties. Yeah. I put polar as a two, and I put Lacroix as a three. They got a even lot. though I don't like a lot of their flavors, they do have a decent amount of flavors. I kind of, I kind of like them. Okay. So next up is Dasani. 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 That was so subscribe. Like this is so subscribing to me. It was so surprising to me because I can remember, like I said, feeling very fancy. Their their packaging is beautiful, and I think. I liked the packaging because flavor one. I gave it a one. I gave it a one. It there is it's like carbonated water and not even great carbonation because I gave it a two for carbonation. I gave it a two for carbonation as well. Yeah, surprising. I gave it a one for price because it's expensive. It's six dollars and ninety nine cents. So it's expensive, but at least it doesn't taste great. And then I gave it a two for flavors, one out of three, and you know, two out of three. There's not because a, they only have like four million. flavors. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that was a surprising upset for me. Okay, so next up, Perrier. I'm just gonna bring the little can in. Just pretend that this is lime. It is lime because we did taste we the lime. We tasted the lime. It gets a three plus for flavor. It is delicious. I gave it a three for flavor. And it got a three for carbonation. I gave it a two for bubbles. I felt it's a very unique bubble too. Yeah. Different it, than the others. Okay. And then, uh, so I also, I ranked it on one to five mm -hmm. on price. I gave it a one because it's six dollars 59 cents for 10 cans, but they're half the size. Yeah. Okay. But they're delicious. And then I gave it a two on variety of flavors because they, they have like four flavors and this is a good flavor, the but watermelon. there's still only four flavors. Yeah, but it's they're like, we're going to focus on what we know, and we're going to do those little bit really awesome. Right. Publix brand. You can get them cheap, I guess, but uh, I gave it a one for flavor. I gave it a one for flavor. Weirdly, though, I gave it a three for bubbles. So did I. Oh, my gosh. So <laughs> they're just leading I guess we think alike. Okay, and then I did give it a four on price. It's, yeah. It's... $4 for a 12 pack normal price. Reasonable. Um, but I only gave it a three at a, a, a two on the, the uh, variety of variety because they don't have a lot of variety. Yeah. Okay, so who's next? Waterloo. I give it a 17 on name <laughs> choice because I love this name. Um, I actually gave it a three for flavor. I, I gave it a three as well. It is delicious okay. and it is true to flavor like it tastes like lime he's 
They're doing it right. I got a taste of nuts. You are going to be burping up a storm later. I apologize for what you've had to watch me burp, but I also give it a three for bubbles. I give it a three for bubbles too. It is bubble tastic. And then go, moving on to price, out of a five, I gave it a three on price. It oh. is it is a little bit more on the expensive side. It's six dollars and twenty nine six dollars and forty nine cents for a twelve pack. Well, then shouldn't you give it a one for price? No, nope, because it's not the most expensive. Oh, okay. Okay. And I gave it a three There's on a variety of flavors because they have a lot of varieties. And they, they're delicious. The watermelon one. Yeah, the watermelon, the coconut, they're all really good. Biggest problem with Waterloo is, number one, they're hard to find. Yeah. I only know of two places around us that sell them. Whole Foods. We have Whole Foods and Lucky's, and they're rarely on sale. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, okay. Next up, Sifo. I see that they've been around for a long time, but uh, they need to work on their flavor. I gave them a one. I gave them a one as well. But I gave them a three plus for bubbles. Like my face almost blew off when I drank it. Like there's a lot of carbonation. If you are like all about the burn and can't care less about the flavor, this is the drink for you. Okay, well I gave it a one on the flavor. I gave it a two on the bubbles. I didn't like the bubbles. <laughs> They're very- It's a unique. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, you can even look in these two bottles. I don't know if you can really gonna pick it up in the camera, but look at the size of the bubbles in here compared to here. I don't, I don't know if the camera's gonna them. pick it up, but like they're larger bubbles. Maybe it's because you can even see like when they're coming up, I don't know. The bubbles are just bigger. It's a different type of bubble. I mean, I, they're saying something different's going on there, but. I did give it out of, a, out of based on one to five, I gave it a five based on price and okay. $1.25 a bottle. Pretty reasonable. And uh, I gave it a two on variety of flavors. They only had like three flavors that I saw. Finally, we have Aldi. The Aldi's brand, I gave it a one for flavor. It was not like, I don't even know what I drank. It was It honestly, terrible. like it tasted like water, but maybe just like a tiny hint of lime. Like, like it's met a, a lime before. Like it met a lime, like it kissed a lime, but. Yeah, it, it, had a, it had a lime for Christmas one year. Yeah. You know, but not great. And then I gave it a one for bubbles. It was almost like flat. Yeah, I gave it a two for bubbles. I thought it was like, okay, but not great. We probably should have led on price because it's super cheap. Yeah, so I, I did it out of, based on five, I gave it a five for price. But then I gave it a one for for a variety of flavors because they don't have any. They no. have like two flavors. Well, because all these that's usually normal for them. They don't they have like the top three. So what are your top three? Well, I actually have three that all have a three way tie. So okay. so let me see what I have. I have I have two. I have four. I have two with a top for the top, and then I have two for the next two. So okay. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. Let's break. Let's let's break up this tie a little bit. We're gonna add factor in price and flavors. Okay. Okay. So what's the first one that you had? Bubbly. Okay. And so bubbly. Um, I want you to add to your total. Okay. I want you to add a three uh -huh. for price, and I want you to add a three for flavor. Okay. Okay, so what was your next one? Perrier. Okay, so Perrier, I want you to add a one for price, and I want you to add a two for variety of flavors. What's your next one? Mm, Waterloo. I want you to add a three for price, and a three for flavors. Ooh. Okay. And then what, oh, that's your three, right? Yeah, it's my three. And then I have a fourth one, which was LaCroix because so my top my top ones mm -hmm. were Waterloo and LaCroix were both fell in with a six yeah and then I had Bubbly and Perrier tied at a five okay so let me just add in LaCroix I, I said a three on price and a three on flavor okay so now give me your let's do your totals and now see how you fall okay so that that doing that got rid of Perrier because of the price okay. and, the, and the different varieties. So now I've got a tie between Bubbly and Waterloo. Okay, so what about, me? I need a third one. So what's your, so, okay, I see. So you're saying Bubbly and Waterloo are your top two. Yeah. Okay, well, here's what I've got. I've got LaCroix falling in at a 12. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. with those prices factored in. Yep. I've got Waterloo 
at a 12. So I think Waterloo is supreme. And then I have Bubbly at 11. Okay. And adding in the price and the variety of flavors. Yep. That took Perrier out of the running. So for me, top three, Bubbly, Waterloo, and then LaCroix. And I have curious, Bubbly, Waterloo, and then What Perrier. are your LaCroix values? I'm just curious. LaCroix, that was... Um, I said a three plus for fa- flavor. Well, you can't do a plus. I know. So it was a, a three. three for flavor, and it was a two and a half for bubbles. I have a feeling that that's what screwed you up. You weren't supposed to use halves. Did we say halves? We didn't say you can use a half. No, but it was okay. early in the game. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to add in a three on price, and I want you to add in a three on flavoring. So if I did that, it would they would all then um, Lacroix would be in there. Okay, but what would that put it at? It would put it at, they'd all. So you'd go six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and a half. Yeah. Okay. So that means that we fall in at the same. Yeah. So it'd be Bubbly, Waterloo, and LaCroix. Is that what you have? Yeah. Bubbly, Waterloo, and LaCroix. I have LaCroix as the best, and then Bubbly and Waterloo. I have Bu- LaCroix and Waterloo as the best two, and then Bubbly. I have Bubbly and Waterloo as the best two, and then LaCroix. That's because you used a half. I know. You weren't supposed to use a half. But we're so, in the same, like, zip code. We're in the same zip code. Okay, so now, now that we've done all that, these are our favorite three, which so happens to be what we buy a lot. Well, we, we don't buy Waterloo a lot because it's no. too expensive for us. Right. We buy a lot of LaCroix because it's on sale. Buy two, get one free a and lot. And available or buy one, get one free. In a lot and of it's places. available everywhere. We buy bubbly whenever it's on sale. We buy one, get one free. We load up on it because it is probably our real, real favorite. Yeah. Considering we don't buy Waterloo a whole lot. Yeah. And then after that, yeah, Polar is usually our fallback. And, you know, for when something's, we can't find anything. Yeah. Or we go to like these name brand, I mean like brand, uh, store brand yeah. ones. Like a Winn-Dixie because yep. it's super cheap. Yeah. So I don't know if we solved anything here. We may have caused more confusion. And at least we figured out that you and I are on the same page with what our favorite seltzer waters are. Which is nice. Um, one side note that I would mention, if you buy them in a bottle, drink it in one sitting, if you like the burn of the bubbles, because in my experience, if I drink this and then put it back into the refrigerator and try to drink it tomorrow, it's flat. Yeah. And they don't last yeah, very that's, long. That's why, I mean, we added those because that's all they had. That was but the we, buy, we like to buy it in the can. Like Just, we will be drinking this entire thing tonight. Yep. Because it will not be the same tomorrow. Yeah. We have a lot of seltzer water to drink tonight. I know. So like I said, I I don't know if we've caused any more confusion, but it was really interesting to try them all right next to each other. It was very interesting to take out like the design of the can and the pretty labels and all that kind of stuff and like get down to what's going on inside the bottle, inside the can. So let us know down in the comment section, what are your favorite brands of seltzer water? And what are your favorite flavors? What are your favorite flavors? And did we miss one? Is there one here like... Like I said, there were two that I mentioned. The other one I was looking for was San Pellegrino, but I could not find a lime flavor anywhere except for one that had like 25 carbohydrates in it. Um, How about no? So if you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.